So it's our art tutorial with me um, and Creative Remedies and spring is in the air. So the sun has been shining. Uh, we've had lots of blue skies and some warmth to make us all feel a little bit better. And that brought me onto the theme that we're going to do today. I'm going to look at um, rabbits. I'm going to do the head of a very, very cute rabbit. So I've got some pencils there. I've got some shading pencils. And I've got my 2H. I've got an eraser and um, sharpener just in case anything breaks. So we're going to start off with the shape. I've got no images to show you. So this is again, this is from, from, from memory. I'm at home at the moment. So think about, first of all, get some images if you want from the from your laptop or from any books or close your eyes and imagine seeing a rabbit. Our memories are, are amazing tools. We don't use them at all. So I'm going to start, first of all, think about the shape. So we always do the shapes, don't we? Leave some space for the ears. Rabbits have very, very big ears. So as you know, I always like drawing the shape first. So I'm going to do a circle. So that's where the, the main part of the, the head's going to be. And then think about the rabbit being side on. Think about where your eye would be. and Think about where the nose would be. They tend to be in line with each other. So if I just put a line going out there, okay, and then think about this snout part. So I'm just going to put another dot of circle on the end. Okay, if you look at that, that bit there, that sort of go in there, wouldn't it? So we're drawing them two up. So you've got about, um, it's about three times, I'd say, bigger the sort of head area and then once you've got that and you want to think about joining these up okay into a nice rabbit rabbit shape <laughs> rabbit shaped head then the ears quite are set back they're not right on top of the head they're set back slightly so i'd just for now i'd put the the length of your how long your ears are going to be they're about one and a half head about one one half times it's head I should start with the h really shouldn't i i think about this one as being the, the thicker ear so just put some weight on that and then just think about where the other ear would be behind so you can have it a bit cocking out to the side there if you wanted to that'll do for, that'll do for now so we know where we're going with this and then you've got the the head would come down. If because my rabbit's head's popping up, it's popping up. He's having a look about. He's thinking, I've had enough of this lockdown. Let's get out of here. And then here, and we all can't wait for our coffees. So that's where the head. You can see already. You can see the shape forming. So I'm going to put this. The eyes got beautiful, beautiful big eyes. So again, remember we do our circle so we know we've got the shape of it. But then just cut that circle off slightly. I put in the eye around there. And then pull the eye down to this nose and all you need is a little curve and just bring it round. A little bit too much dark pencil that could overlap the other one. Let's do that again. So I'm just going to bring this down and curve it round. And then that will bring it on to where that puffy part is. Where all the whiskers are. Okay. And then down it'll go into its little mouth and chin there. Okay, so we don't need these guidelines now. I'll rub them out. Don't need them. 
and then I'm going to pause this while you catch up, okay? Pause this and I'll darken my lines because I know you always find it hard to see at first, but like always, I can't do them dark until I know I'm happy. And I'm just looking at that shape of hair and it needs to be. Remember, he was going to have hair, he's like a bit bald at the moment, but he's going to have hair. Okay, so I'm just going to work on this a little bit while you work on yours. Then when we come back, we'll start to find a little bit more, putting the hair in and putting some shading in. Okay, see you in a bit. Holding the camera a little bit too much then. So as you can see there, I've darkened um, some of the areas. Not worked on the edges yet, um, but I've darkened the eye and the uh, the outside of the, the rabbit's head shape. And now I'm going to work on the eye a little bit more. So I've picked a shading pencil up. I've only picked a 3B up for the time being. I'm going to do round the um, pupil. So this one is going to be not as dark. So I'm just doing a scrumbling motion. And I'm going to stop it around there just so you're going to have a bit of light source coming in. You always get the reflections on your eye. Bear with me, it looks a bit while I'm sorting this out. Okay. So where this part is going to, going to have a bit of a light source coming in around here. Okay, so I'm going to try and get a little bit of a rubber. Take a little bit off. I'm going to try and get in there to get some of that pencil away. And then go back in. Okay, so this part here, the actual pupil, I'm just going to apply some pressure for now with the same pencil. Remember, we want it to be round. And I'm happy with it because I want to want sort of pupil set a little bit forward, so it's looking a bit forward and not sort of towards my face. And then I'm happy with that. I'm going to bring a darker shading pencil in there. And then I think round, they have sort of a black, I've done this here. Oh, that one's going to break, just seeing it wobble. Find another one. What's that one? That'll do. So I'm then just going to emphasise this darker part here. It's got a, it's got a lovely, 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 big, beautiful eye there. And when you look around, so I want to just put a bit of markings around here. It's going to have a white, it's going to have a bit of a white around that eye there. Just make the eye pop out a little bit more. Oh, it's got a bit wobbly. Take that back off. About there. Okay. So now I think we're going to shade in the nose. So again, just emphasize the line that you've already created that you're happy with. So just think about casting some shading over that nose area. Nice and soft, nice and soft for the time being. We're starting to see that the parts that we want to be a little bit darker, maybe the mouth area there, And then slowly, you would add the fur. And I'm doing that just by creating a downy type appearance. We'll put some long lines in afterwards. I'm just going to do that um, throughout the sort of face. I'll carry on doing that because we can do that sort of in the time where we um, have got time to sort of just 
carry on in our own time as long as we want to to do that type of part of the, the bunny rabbit okay and as you can see there I am working around how the actual muscles in the face would be and how, how the hair would naturally grow from the actual um, layers over the skull so I'm not going that way I'm going how the hair would naturally flow and form and we're going to look at these ears okay so I'm going to go back to my two H's. We've not actually defined these ears yet. So obviously you want the shape, don't you? You want the length. And now we're going to look at the shape. So I'm going to put a little, I'm just going to flick over there to make it going to have interest in ears. And then I'm going to bring this in slightly because you see it's going to come down into sorry if you can see <laughs> if you can hear my wolf dog howling at the minute he's he's not happy that I'm doing this I don't think so you can see that line there And then the hair would be on the inside. And this part where you're going inside the ear, this would obviously be darker. It would be darker in parts and lighter in other parts. Because inside the ear, you all, you've got all the folds, haven't you? And you've got the hairy part here. Just a sort of progressive and going along with this ear. And then the one behind. Going to just flick out. Make it a little bit bigger there. And you won't see the inside of that, that ear. So what I'm going to do with this ear, I'm just going to shade this. Um, actually, let's get another pencil. I'm going to... Let me throw a bit. I'm just going to shade this ear. The reason being... Let's just make that go the way. I'll put there. I've just completed my... Um, mental, mental Health First Aid um, England. Um, certificate today so I've still got books all over my dining table because we had to call into the studio to, um, to carry up making a load of new screens bought all new screens because they've come down in price now I couldn't afford them before well well we did we had them it's just I made them myself <laughs> they did the job but they're much nicer So I've sort of gone lighter in, in the middle and then towards the end I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Make it look a little more interesting than the folds and the ear shape there. It's always difficult when you've not got an image, even though we see things all the time, don't we? You know, we and, and, and do we really? Do we really look? And we sort of give it a glance, but we don't take it in. We've got all the time in the world. So this is testing me to think, when was the last time I actually took notice of what a rabbit actually looks like? But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Back to this ear. So what we're going to do, you're going to work on your ears. Not your ears, you're going to work on your, on your rabbit's ears. And so am I. And we're also going to work on this face and this hair and just filling it in with um, tones. Okay, some nice grey scales there. 
I'll see you back in a minute. Well, actually, no, it won't be a minute. I'll see you back here in about 30 minutes. So all I've done there is I've, I've just lightened and, and, and darkened certain areas within the ear um, to emphasise where the folds are and where it's dark and where the inside of the ear is. And I've just gone over and quite loosely put some tones there into the rabbit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, exaggerate these. What we've just been working on. I'm going to use my 2H. Which is what this area now is we want to have the the dots, you know the where the the whiskers come out. And I can't I, th I think, you know, actually, do you know what? I think I've just done that. And I'm sure they go the other way. I've done that that way. They go that way, don't they? they go, yeah, they go upwards like that. Rather than the other way. So I've got some dots on there. And they are very, very long whiskers. Probably have more than that, to be quite honest, but I'll see for now. Lots of whiskers. And you would see some, wouldn't you, from the other side. And also they have sort of a bridge area here, don't they, like where the, the lid is. You can also find the eyelashes. Okay, so I've got them in for now, and we're going to now take the dark bit out, got a bit start, I don't like that. Right, shading pencil. I'm going to bring in some sort of fluffy darker tones to the rabbit. And the beauty of this is you don't have to tell you don't have to be too too precise, you know I'm never never too precise. Um, I've never been one. I don't, I don't know. Drawers that just look exactly like something that you've just copied out of a book. It's just not. It's just not my style. I like things that look like they've got a personality, but each to our own. We're all different. Okay. So once you've got your whiskers in, then start thinking whereabouts. Character lines in this fur is going to come in. That's what I'm going to work on next. I'm going to bring these lights, bits of lights, and these shading areas in there. Bring this little rabbit into life. I wonder what we're calling. I always think like once you've drawn something, it's got its character, that's the best time then to name them. Maybe there we come down a little bit more. Where it's first going round. And you could even round the whites if you wanted to exaggerate his eye even more. And then they just add some shade in. And now I'm doing longer lines to re represent longer there. It's coming to light. But not it's gonna nearly gonna be finished. So we're gonna work on um, just a few more bits of this because because um, I'm at home, I have to turn my Wi-Fi shock in it even though I pay for the fiber optic since for 12 months since we've been doing these online videos and it's, it's still no better. 
So I upgraded my phone um, to get more st um, storage so I could send them via WeTransfer. This was because it was in lockdown, you say. And, um, but now, still, when, it, when I'm doing this at home, I have to turn the Wi-Fi off and use my data so I can transfer it. But where there's a will, there's a way. I think we've all learnt that, haven't we? So dig deep. Everything's going to be okay. Well, I think this rabbit is coming on a treat. And it just shows you sometimes we have to trust ourselves a little bit more, don't we? Because sometimes we were capable of doing a lot more than what we think. And I actually didn't need a draw of a rabbit. Because bit by bit, I took my time, I trusted what I remembered. And no matter what you produce, as long as you enjoyed it, You darken his nose a little bit more. Not to make him look like Rudolph, but and obviously he's smiling because I'm back in the studio on the eighth, which is Monday. His classes are back. So grateful to be a um, a learning provider. It's, I'm really glad he applied for it. Well, I'm really glad we were successful, even more so. So nice to see all you back soon as well. I'm waffling, I'm waffling again. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed drawing your rabbit and hope you like your rabbit. Quite like mine. There we go. See you next week. Bye now.